I'm Mark. I have worked in the motorcycle industry for over 15 years. I have ridden and raced for most of my life. I, I love adventure, especially Baja, Mexico. This, that's Baja George. He's have over 35 years experience down in Baja. And this time, we're gonna take you with us. Rick Bernard and I'm the son of Coyote Cal, Cal and Bernard. Um, it was my father's home back in, he started building this in the 80s and he, um, in 93 he died in a motorcycle accident, didn't complete the home. In 97 I uh, took a Harley Davidson and I toured the coastline of Australia and New Zealand and learned about hostels and my dad's house was kind of just sitting here not doing anything so I thought any place in Baja is as good as any place in Australia and New Zealand, in my opinion, you know? So uh, I started the first hostel in Baja, California. <laughs> and it was crazy, man, before 9-11. It was 40, 50, 60 kids here all the time, international people here. It was a, it was a lot of fun during those initial years. So um, it was inspired by a motorcycle trip in Australia, I guess, is, I, is how it all started. Um, my wife of 10 years, her name is Ta, and she's from Thailand. We met, we had mutual friends we met in Thailand, dated for a couple years, got married. Um, she is, um, she inspired me to build this uh, spa here where she does massage. She's probably, she's probably one of the best masseuses in the world, and I'm not kidding you. The only reason why she's here is because she's married to me. <laughs> and now she's had 10 years of working on surfers and motorcycles. So she's taken a very good uh, discipline, Thai discipline, and she's applied it now to the injuries uh, and just the aches and pains of motorcycle riding and surfing. I don't think there's anyone better in sports massage right now than her. Mm -hmm. She's pretty, pretty awesome. And we have a new person now. Her name is Om, and she's from Thailand also. And she, she's just just came here two weeks ago. She's equally as good as my wife, but she doesn't have the experience in the, in the special way of how you treat surfers and motorcycle riders. But she's she's a very good um, classic Thai masseuse. Yeah. The hostel. What makes a hostel a hostel is um, we usually we cater to individual people. Okay, so if you came here all by yourself. You get a stay, you get a, you know kitchen facilities, showers, everything you really need for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. Can't anywhere, go wrong, right? yeah. But if you're a dad and you have six kids and you're paying 20 bucks for your six kids, your wife and yourself, it gets pretty expensive. Yeah. But the reason why the motorcycle guys like it so much is everybody kind of pays for themselves. So 
I get very large groups of motorcycle people because everybody's paying on their own. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 like that. And motorcycle people have the exact same needs as a backpacker. They don't have, they just have what's on their bike and maybe not even that. That is true. A backpacker probably has more stuff than a motorcycle guy does. Yeah. So they need to come to a place that has absolutely everything that they need. They need even a towel. They don't even carry a towel. So um, they found this place because a, a hostel works for a motorcycle. They did. It was a natural. It was kind of a natural hit for them, you know. And then we were the only ones on the western coast, western coast trail. Well, not anymore, but we were in the very beginning. So now we've become a destination as popular as Mike Sky Ranch or Old Mill. You know, we're we're on the same level with those guys. Right now. I, uh, www coyotecals.com we have a Facebook um, Facebook page we have um, we're in publications just google us hostel well, have a hostel that's probably enough We've got a telephone you can call us uh, email okay. old Baja at coyotecals.com um, all that stuff we're, we're implementing a brand new website that will have uh, GPS for trails um, not the secret trails, but the common trails. Yeah. And uh, we also have maps and stuff that you can download too. Um, Casey from GPS, Baja GPS is coming here tomorrow, the next day, and she's giving me all the GPS download stuff on my website. Oh, cool. So we're gonna have a pretty good website in about a couple months. We're gonna we're gonna launch a new one that's gonna be motorcycle friendly. I've never seen this one. Well, the first time Danny and I came, this was all covered in sand with just a little bit of rock. And I parked my motorcycle right here and the ground was, was rolling. Really? So this is all washed away. But this was what it was, Michael, right here. And it was just sand. And we're like, God, the ground's vibrating and growling right here. And that's when we walked over there. But this, this, oh, another roll roll. this one cleared itself out. Look at these guys. Is this what it's about?
But that's the weird thing. You go and you okay go. But as soon as you get through, it went left anyway. So like it all hooked, it hooked up. Later. Probably would have went to like El Chapo's house, or yeah. whatever. And like, one yeah, sorry, Jake. Got get him, also. Get him. They're go over there. Him, Find muscle. out what's going on. Security's here. All right, boys, let's clean it up. Get inside. Dinner's ready. Dinner's Where's that beer. jerky? Where's my Mike Sky Ranch, a landmark in Baja travel. This right here is Mike Jr. Mike Sky Ranch is overlooking the Arroyo San Rafael, which is a somewhat wooded river valley with steep brush covered mountains. The ranch offers motel type accommodations for about $25 to $70. Family style meals, a campsite, as well as a bunch of activities to do. Okay, we're on day two, but tomorrow we're gonna ride back to Tecate to the trucks, and uh, pretty tired. So, Hiding behind the fridge? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 